I'm here today with my buddy Brandon. We're flying over the Payette National Forest to investigate a B-23 Dragon Bomber, which crashed in January of 1943. January 1943, a Douglas B-23 Dragon Bomber with eight crew members was heading back from a training mission to Tacoma, Washington. They experienced heavy icing, making the aircraft unflyable. And in addition, they lost their radio. The pilots decided to attempt to land on Loon Lake instead of parachuting into the icy air. Touching down on the ice, they ended up sliding clear across the lake and 150 feet into the woods. Only one crew member was seriously injured. The eight crew members made a makeshift camp, but ran low on food and endured the freezing temperatures. The three of the strongest crew members went for help. Search planes were unable to find them, but a bush pilot eventually found the crashed aircraft two weeks after it landed. The five men were rescued. The other three who had left looking for help were eventually found at the Fork Ranger Station 40 miles away, having crossed through waist-deep snow the entire time. If you go to Google Street View, you'll see that the central and eastern part of the United States has been completely mapped by their cars. But off on the west side, the Rockies and the Sierra Mountains, there's large gaps that have absolutely no documentation. The largest which is here, over top the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness. The size of Connecticut, it covers 3.3 million acres without a single paved road. Don't let the River of No Return Wilderness name fool you, though. We're actually surrounded by a lot of nice places like Dismal Mountain, Hungry Creek Point, Cold Mountain, Snow Slide Peak, and Thunder Mountain, Cougar Peak off to the south, to the west, Wolf Fang, Mosquito, and Dead Mule Peaks, as well as Sheep Eater Mountain, and to the north, Arctic Point. But there's fun places to go to as well like Burnt Knob, Sugar Mountain, Chicken Peak, as well as Pudding Mountain. If the place names don't scare you off, there's large populations of mountain lions, gray wolves, black bears, lynx, coyote, red fox, and it's known to be one of the best habitats for grizzlies, though there isn't a population yet. A fun fact about the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness is that a population of beavers were actually parachuted into the area. They're not to be done quite well. If you'd like more information about the flying beavers or the B-23 crash, look into the links below. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, get lost.